Oh, come in. K200 Marnay Drive is currently for sale. So you probably want to speak to the listing agent. It's going to be in the description. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look. All this around. So they already have the stage, have the uh, three tier wine bar. And I want you guys to come over here. Wow, just take a look at the pool. I mean, the pool and the jacuzzi, I mean, it just looks amazing. I remember I was here and this is just all dirt. But we came here for the kitchen. This is what we did. This is our contribution. And uh, so we're gonna talk about the kitchen. <clears throat> so what you have here is you have a quartz that has a waterfall mitered edge. So some of the differences with the standard cabinets, standard countertops and the mitered edges, this does a great job of concealing the panel for the cabinet. It's a high-end look, so you're gonna see that in a lot of million dollar homes. Come over here and take a look here. Look at some, um, so this is the apron sink. Almost all the kitchens I do now, they have an apron sink. The microwave a lot of times is going to be uh, in the island. So a lot of people before, you would have the microwave over the cooktop or the oven. Now what most homeowners are likely to do is to put it below. So we have trash pull out. So if you have trash outside of the cabinets, it's a problem. You really want to have a nice concealed hidden trash can that has a recycle in it as well. We have the dishwasher. I love these poles with the gold knurling. I mean, it kind of feels like you're at the gym uh, with these type of poles and this is great. All right, so coming here, this is the, so this is the scullery. So scullery is a fancy name for saying a room inside the uh, kitchen. So here we did the floating shelves. These are about 42 inches. Did a great job installing those. They also have a cooler. This is very popular. You have a wine cooler, a fridge, whatever you want to use it for. Got to have the pantry storage. Getting this door, this is a pain. I mean, I had to get this ship directly from South Carolina. So this was a, a pain getting that door in. But uh, yeah, it came out good. It came out really good. Also, you can see the glass doors, the glass doors at the top. These were custom. All the glass doors here were custom. Also, these panels. So it's also, it's a, it's a big deal to, uh, I would say, conceal the fridge. A lot of clients, they don't want to have the stainless steel. They want to have the fridge kind of mimic how the cabinets look, so it has like the same material. It's much easier doing it in white because, you know, it's much easier to do like shaker white, you could even paint it. But to get the natural wood, this was a little bit of a challenge. We actually had to, come here and take a look. We actually had to cut this to size and then we had to get specific edge banding. So this was custom put on. So this whole panel was, was custom, so. Oh, really good. So we're gonna come back upstairs, but let's go downstairs. And it looks like they already got it staged. And then you can see on the back end, let's take one more look here. You can see the extra storage. Again, anytime I do an island, these are wall cabinets. We're always gonna add wall cabinets on the back side for more cabinet storage. All right. Just go take a look downstairs. So this room, this room excites me because I've been wanting to do skinny style shaker for a long time. And so I thank the builder, Carl, for allowing me to do the uh, green skinny style shaker. To me, it's a more modern shaker look. Uh, so if you're thinking uh, shaker white, shaker blue, shaker gray, it might be out of style. This is not gonna be out of style for a while. It gives a, a modern, almost a European style look, but it's contemporary. So it definitely has that going for him. Uh, so here we have the cooler, again, cooler wine fridge, whatever you want to use. We have an ice maker right here. Ice is like a big deal. Anyone who's ever been to Europe, you know it's what a pain it is to, to, to get ice. Uh, we have the single basin sink. I love the big sinks. They decided not to do an apron, but this sink is huge. <laughs> sink is massive. And somewhere over here we have the trash. Yeah, so this is one of the last things that we installed, the trash bins. Uh, so some of my clients, they do want like the taller trash bin, so you could have a 
you know, just more, more storage for trash. They also liked it for the mitered edge countertops and the backsplash. This is a hexagon tile glass backsplash. To me, it looks beautiful, really makes everything pop. And I think it ties, pretty much ties everything together with the, the whole kitchen. And we didn't do this, but I definitely want to take a look at this. We did this on a different project. Yeah, so the fireplace, man, it looks incredible. Yeah, so doing the final walkthrough of my client's house, and if you have a chance to get a pool, like, like why would you not do it? I mean, even though it's cloudy, there's some overcast, it's like the sun is just attracted to the pool, and just hearing the water, the waves, anytime I'm by water, it's always, I'm able to do my best thinking. Uh, I feel like I'm at my calmness, I'm at my oneness with earth, so. This is just, if you can do something like this, why not? I don't need to go down. 